Hey, hey, and welcome to Shuriken Skills, session number 12 in the Work Smarter, Not Harder Dojo with me, Tony Harmer, a.k.a. The Design Ninja. In this movie, we are going to enhance our symbol skills with a bit of nine-slice scaling. And that enables me to do things like these speech bubbles around this text here. Each one of these is exactly the same symbol, but I can scale them down to the smallest piece of text they're likely to accommodate and up to the largest piece of text they're likely to accommodate without having to draw extra stuff. So, on my next artboard, we'll have a look at how we do that. And I've got a rectangle and a small shape here. It's going to round off the rectangle. And let's zoom in on that for you. Maybe just make that shade less round. I'm going to bring this shape on top of it, select both, and then with my shape builder, quickly pass across those to make one shape. All I need to do then is to go to the symbols panel and click on the new symbol icon or drag the symbol in and make sure that I enable guides for nine slice scaling. I'm just going to call this one speech just here like so and then hit OK. Once I've done that, I double click on the symbol in the symbols panel to modify it. And if I change the fill color here to orange, just for example, what I'm going to do is drag the guides to determine where this object can scale and where it can't. And I'll show you a more graphic representation of this in a second. But basically, in the middle here, all three of these areas will scale and all of the areas in the middle here will scale as well. So this one on the left, like so. But the things on the corners, they won't scale. If I just come out of here and show you a quick graphic. So everything that's in green, that will scale. Everything in red in my illustration here doesn't scale, which means now what I can do is just change this symbol like so. You'll see the corner radius stays exactly the same, even if I shrink it using just the handles like that on the sides and on the top and bottom. So there you are. That's this week's shuriken skill for you to practice. And don't forget, if you want to learn more even faster, do check out my titles on lynda.com and LinkedIn Learning. But for now, we're done. Please do subscribe to the channel, reach out to me via Facebook and Twitter, spread the word, and I'll see you next Monday for another Shuriken Skills session.